Harvey came ashore in Texas as a rapidly intensifying Category 4 hurricane with the potential for great devastation. But the real damage came later as it hovered around Houston, a low-lying city uh, that's developed rapidly with relatively little concern for flood control measures. The main destructive power Harvey has is a tremendous amount of rain, and that is, is because Harvey is in between two subtropical highs, so that as a result, Harvey kind of like a semi-stationary blowing around the southeast of Texas, and then that's resulted in a huge flood we see today. We're being asked over and over again, what did climate change have to do with Hurricane Harvey? And there's a few things we can say based on what we know now. The first is that heavy rain events have been getting more frequent and more intense around the world and in the United States over the last several decades. We do know climate is warming, atmosphere is warming, ocean is warming. So the fact that the ocean is warming up kind of give, in general sense, give the storm higher potential to reach a higher intensity. I think it's reasonable to say that due to global warming, the rainfall produced by Harvey is going to be higher than it would have otherwise been by some percentage that's modest but possibly enough to increase the human and financial and other costs of the disaster by, by a significant fraction. So here in Colombia, we develop a tropical cyclone risk model that is a last tool overcome the challenge that not have enough observational data. And in this setting, we can swap the climate from current climate to the future climate, or we can also push it back, look at pre-industrial climate and see if there's no human-induced global warming, how does the risk look like? We have to look around the world where the ability of the governments and citizens to uh, withstand these events is even less than it is in Houston, Texas. Planning at the local and state and federal level that's cognizant of both flood risk in urban planning and development as well as the role of human emissions of greenhouse gases in making extreme weather events worse can help us be better prepared for these things as time goes on.